To relocate the audio on your GameCube, you will need an external audio amplifier, along with one or two speakers that will be wired up to the amplifier itself. In this video, we will be using the audio amplifier from a Dynex speaker, which can be found on eBay or Amazon by searching Dynex Portable Speaker DX-PS1 for about 20 bucks. Note that the Dynex audio amplifier only uses one speaker, or mono output. On the Dynex PCB, or printed circuit board, there are two traces labeled SP negative and SP positive, indicating speaker negative and speaker positive, respectively. We will be connecting the positive terminal of the speaker to the SP positive, and the negative terminal of the speaker to the SP negative. For amplifiers that support two speakers or stereo output, there will usually be two pairs of these positive negative speaker output traces, and they should be labeled on the PCB for the audio amplifier. If you would rather have two speakers instead of one, you can purchase a stereo amplifier, such as the I Love Smashbox speaker for about $15, or the eSumic Mini Portable speaker for about five. Now, if you're going to get the I Love speaker, please don't open it like Jonathan. <sighs> to connect the Dynex audio amp to the GameCube's motherboard, you will need six wires. One for powering the audio amp, one for the audio amp's ground, two for SP positive and SP negative connecting the speaker to the audio amp, and finally, two for actually connecting the Dynex audio amp to the GameCube's audio outputs. Note, if you are using an amp with stereo output, you will most likely need eight wires, two more for the additional set of SP negative and SP positive traces. Notice how the Dynex audio amp has two traces labeled L and R. Those are the two traces you will be connecting to the left and right audio lines of the GameCube's motherboard. Alright, now that you have everything you need, let's do this.